Welcome to my channel. I am Navanita Chakraborty, and in this channel, I mainly discuss about basic graph theory and algorithms. So, in today's lecture, we will discuss about walk, trail, and path. So, firstly, we will see what is a walk. So, a walk is a list of uh, or uh, actually a alternating an alternating list of alternating list of uh, vertices and edges for example or of the form u0 then u1 u1 e2 u2 uh, so on u n minus 1 e n and u n so I will explain this in the form so uh, let us take for example here the uh, and here this e i's are the edges and u i's are the vertices ok so each var each edge e i uh, has the end vertices uh, precisely u i minus 1 and u i we can see from here like for the edge e1 we have the end vertices u u0 and uh, u1 also for e2 we have u1 and u2 also for e en similarly we have u n minus 1 u n like this right so we, now we have to consider some examples for clear understanding so we'll take some examples some easy examples uh, we'll take so firstly let us take this u and v two vertices and one edge this is e so this u e v this is a walk right also this is a walk also we have uh, if we take this say three vertices u v and uh, w right so then this one is also uh, say e1 and e2 then u e1 v e2 w this is also a walk now we will consider uh, another type of example ok so let us consider this uh, example and we will take some extension of this so u v there are two vertices ok and we are considering firstly this e edge and this edge so this is say f right so we are considering from here so firstly u then e v so u e v then again this edge f and then u so f u so we can say always that uh, for any work the end things are always vertices not the edges because if we consider any edge it have one uh, initial vertex and one uh, like ending vertex right so every edge is corresponding to two vertices right so for uh, whenever we are considering our work the end things are always vertices not edges right so now this is also a work now we can consider some uh, big examples like say u0 u1 u2 u3 and this is say u4 and we are considering here firstly say e1 okay then e2 e3 e4 and e5 so now the thing is mm, we are having the work like u0 e1 u0 e1 u1 then e2 u2 then e3 u3 then e4 right then e4 then again u1 again u1 and then e5 then u4 like this so this is one work also 
but what is the difference that uh, in these last two examples we have this repeating vertex right here also we have this uh, uh, this uh, repeating vertex uh, say u here also we have this repeating vertex u here u is repeated twice and here also we have the repeating vertex u1 okay so u1 is also here repeating one okay so also we ha can have some repeating edge as well so like we can consider uh, this type of example hmm. so here we have basically e1 e2 mm, then e3 e4 e5 again this one we will consider and then e6 so we are naming uh, a b then c d e and it is f so now we have this work as a then e1 then b then e2 c e3 d then e4 e e5 c e2 b e6 and f so this is the work here so like this we can uh, actually this was the uh, i think um, an uh, stand a standard example here we have some repeating edge which is say e2 this e2 is a repeating edge twice we have this e2 and also here this b and c are repeating vertices right so this b and this c are repeating here also we have c and b when actually we can observe from this example that whenever one edge is repeating always these two corresponding vertices to that edge will be also repeating for example here this e e2 edge is repeating so the corresponding vertex of e2 that is b and c are also repeating okay so now we'll go to the next concept of uh, trail right so now actually if we uh, understand the concept of work then the concept of trail becomes easy so a trail is a a trail is nothing but a work with no repeating edge right with no repeating edge that is no edge will repeat so uh, now we uh, can observe our previous examples for uh, let us talk about the first one here we have no repeating edge right here we have only one edge e and nothing else so this will be a uh, this will also be a trail so it is work already we have but it is also a trail and also for this example we have that these two edges e1 and e2 and both are distinct so no repeating edge here also so this uh, example 2 is also a trail right this is also a trail and now we will consider the next example so here we had u then this edge e v f and u so here also we have two edges though the two edges are actually multiple edges so they are uh, for both the edges e and f the dip the end vertices are same okay but these two edges are distinct so uh, these are not rep uh, we cannot say that these are repeating so this is also a trail okay so here also we have no repeating edge so it is also trail now for the next example we have two repeating vertices we had seen that here we have u from here u0 then e1 u1 e2 u2 then e3 u3 e4 u1 e5 and u4 so the here we have the repeating vertex e1 but no repeating edge okay so here basically we have the edges uh, e1 e2 e3 e4 and e5 so all the edges are distinct so it is also a trail so it is also a trail and for the next example we have the repeating edge e2 right so it is a work but it is not a trail so this example is a work but not a trail right so it is not a trail not a trail 
so uh, okay so this was our third example and fourth sixth fifth so uh, this was uh, a important an important example because it was a walk but not a trail right so now we'll uh, discuss about what is a path so a path is nothing but a trail where no uh, vertex is repeated okay so we'll uh, see from the previous examples uh, that uh, we had taken some examples of trail so here actually we have firstly that this uh, this number one example it was a trail we had seen okay so we have to see that whether there is a repeating vertex or not so there is no repeating vertex u and v both vertices are distinct so it is a path so we can write here that it is a path okay so the next example we have this one that u1 then uh, e u then e1 v e2 and w so here we have three vertices and uh, the three vertices are distinct so it is also a path right now we have the next example where we have this one that u v actually we can see from here that here we have the repeating vertex u right so this was the repeating vertex so it is not a path so it is not a path right now next in next example we have again this u1 as the repeating vertex so it is also not a path so it it was a trail but not path okay now next we have a example where it was a walk but not a trail right so it is not a trail means it is not a path because for path we have the initial condition that it is a trail so if it is not a trail then no there is no question about being a path so it is also not path right so now we have some examples that uh, that whenever it is a we have the concept that whenever it is a walk it may not be pa uh, it so we have these three concepts that walk trail and path right so we can say that whenever it is a path it is a trail right so path implies that it is a trail also whenever it is a trail it is a walk because we have the definition of trail that a walk with no repeating edge so it is it must be a walk so every path is a trail and every trail is a walk but not necessarily every walk is a, a trail right so every walk it may not be a trail and every trail it may not be a path right so this is the case that every path is a trail and every trail is a walk but every walk is not a trail and every trail is not a path so uh, for this contradict part actually we have have to give some counter example which we have already discussed so here we here i am uh, just summing it up that uh, let us take a walk u0 e1 u1 then uh, e2 here we have e3 u2 e3 and u3 e4 e5 and here we have u4 so this is a trail and this is a walk but not a trail right uh, no actually so thank you for watching this video and please subscribe to my channel for uh, getting future updates 
and please like comment and share if you like my video and if you want more videos from me and if you have any doubt or query related to whatever I have taught in this lecture or in the previous lectures you can uh, just comment below and I will answer I will try to answer all your doubts and thank you once again